Hi, I'm Sandy Fussell and I'm the author of the Samurai Kids series. Samurai and ninjas are the cowboys and Indians of the 21st century. And just as the sword was the soul of the samurai, every modern day kid wants to get their hands on one. And I know this from my own experience when I go and speak to kids. I, when I go to schools, I take my wooden practice sword or my bokken, and the boys, the ones who normally um, want to sit up the back, they push and shove to get up the front in the hope that they might get to touch the sword. And Samurai Kids taps into this. It, taps, it, it takes kids past the, um, the stereotypes of their anime and their manga and their video games and into history. And kids love facts, especially boys. They want to know how a sword was made and they want to know what Samurai Kids learned and they want to know why they wore their hair in that silly hairstyle. And history and boys is something I know really well. And I'm the mother of two boys. I have two sons, one 15 and one 8. And I wanted to write the sort of history that they'd read. I wanted to write something that was full of action and sword play and, and fights where the bullies were vanquished and honour was restored. But I also wanted something that girls would really like. I wanted girls to read Samurai Kids and say, oh yeah, I want to be a samurai girl. And that's why I created the character of um, Kyoko. And she's really strong and really gutsy. But, but history gives her credibility. She's not just there to even out the numbers or, or the gender. There really were women samurai. Not very many, but they were really exceptional, like Kyoko is. So it's a series that has really strong appeal for boys and girls. One of the things that caught me by surprise, though, was how strongly kids relate to the characters and to the spirit guides. Kids come up to me and they'll say, I'm Yoshi and my spirit guide's the tiger and a row and roar in my face. Or they'll come up to me and say, I'm Naya and my spirit guide's the white crane and they'll drop into that, you know, the classic martial arts white crane stance. It's almost interactive for them. And another thing that the kids really get is Zen humour. Which is, which is the theory behind um, Sensei's eccentric wisdom. Kids understand Zen humour, that you take something that's true and you just stretch it to its absurd. When I talk to kids, I always tell the story where the kids ask Sensei, uh, they complain to Sensei about their um, kimonos. They don't want to wear the boring cockroach brown. They want something that's bright and shiny, something that will attract attention, something that will make people look at them. And Sensei says, well, if you want people to look at you, then wear nothing. Everybody looks then. And the kids always crack up because it's really silly, but it's really true, and that makes it funny. In the beginning, when I was writing Samurai Kids, I didn't have a plot. I just had one sentence. And it was, my name is Nayamoto, and I'm the only one-legged Samurai Kid in Japan. And I really liked this sentence because it, had, it just asked so many questions, like, um, what, would, what would it be like to be a one-legged Samurai? and what would samurai kids learn, and who would teach a kid like Naya. So I, I took my sentence with me out into the backyard and I decided to do a bit of a, a, bit of a check. I, put, I tucked up one leg, one-legged, and you know, give my big karate cry, yay! And then what happened? Fell on the ground, flat on my face. So I had two sentences. I had my name is Nayamoto, and I'm the only one-legged samurai kid in Japan famous for falling flat on my face. And um, I was silly enough to test this out on the Asheville, so I had this great big graze down the side of my face. And everywhere I went, people said to me, what happened? What happened? And kids and adults, and I'd tell them. I'd tell them the story of Nayamoto, and they'd laugh. And then they'd start to ask questions. They'd say, well, what happened to him? And, um, and what did he do? And what's the story about? So I knew that right from the beginning I had the three key elements. I had a really good story, I had an engaging character, and I had humour. And I'll just wind up by telling um, a story of something that happened to me just last week. I was out speaking to a school and I spoke to 200 kids from 8 to 12. And afterwards I was in the library for the children to come and have a chat if they wanted to talk to me. And a boy came up to me and he was about 11, his name was Josh. And he was telling me about how his teacher was reading White Crane to them during library and how he really liked the part where the kids were out um, out practicing archery and he's got his arm movements happening and he's showing me how tired you can't hit the target and how the kids are listening and they can hear the wild boar and it bursts out of the bushes and it chases them across across the path of the paddock so I obviously really liked this scene so we had a bit of a chat and then um and I said to him and what other books do you like and he looked at me really horrified and he said I don't like books so I don't read and I think that's what um is the real really great strength of samurai kids that um it's got a story and a subject matter that can hook kids, that, even kids like Josh that don't want to read.